and welcome back to the MLG.TV Columbus Open. I am Mr. X joined by Benson. Yeah! First map, Solar Hardpoint went to Justice pretty handily. It no, did. I, didn't, I don't think either of us really expected that. No, not, not in that fashion. That was the, no. the key thing to really note there. It was very, very convincing from Justice. And Optic Nation, honestly, I hyped them up a lot. I, I expect them to come back into the series. But for now, though, Matt, we're going to go over to some Biolab Search and Destroy. Biolab, the only map in the pro circuit right now, played on every single game type. Yeah, and you know, on Search and Destroy, the B bomb site in the purple room is really the one that a lot of teams are going to attack on offense. You know, on the online and the 5Ks and the 10Ks, that's what we've been seeing as the primary strategy from each team. Right now, it's going to be Optic Nation on the attacking side. Everyone spawns in, which they do just wait on Proofy. He makes it in as well. So, game underway. First round, such a destroyed by Lab. As I said, Optic Nation going to be on the attack. TP is going to be the bomb carrier as well for Optic Nation. Yeah, and you see they're just taking their time uh, middle map. They're not really pushing anything aggressively. And that was one of the things, though, Ben, we haven't seen that's worked out of a lot of teams online. That search right. and destroy in advanced warfare, it's so fast that you need to be aggressive. Yeah, you really do, as unfortunately, TP goes down, Karma goes down as yeah. well. So already, Ambo's left by himself. It's a one-on-three -on -three situation. Until the only player down for that justice lineup, and he's just going to get yeah. run at. And, <laughs> and you see, you know, Optic Nation was set up mid-map. They were just going to try and wait it out and get a pick. And that's how you probably have played Search and Destroy in other Call of Duty games. But Advanced right. Warfare, it's so different. It's so new that, you know, you have to play aggressive. You need to play aggressive. You saw Justice right there on defense. You know, they pushed out Enable. He was able to pick up two easy kills. And right after that, that round was pretty much over. It was. So first round heading to Justice. That means they're going to be over on the attacking side. Enable kicking things off to an O. So we'll kick things off with him, I feel. You know, I really yeah, enjoy watching him play. You know, he's really really is so talented for everything we've seen online. A lot of people called him a warrior as well, which was a key thing, Matt. And he came here, I uh, saw him last night. Me and Enable, good friends. Obviously, I lived with the guy for <laughs> three months, so I know him very well. Yeah. And he was like, I can't not wait to prove everybody wrong. Right, yeah, this Justice team coming in, they really have to prove a lot of people wrong. You know, they they've do. been playing extremely well online, and a lot of people haven't been giving them the credit they feel like they deserve. But you see right there, they're going to open up with two quick kills, and it's going to be Proofy and Bose left in a four-on-two situation. As Bose taken out, it's just going to be left up to Proof. Yep, and Enable is going to see him. He opted not to plant the bomb. Doesn't matter. They hunt down Proofy. And Justice right now not making any mistakes, it seems. Everything they're doing with pinpoint precision. Nah, they're just playing like a much confident, much more confident team than right. Optic Nation. You know, Optic Nation playing super defensive. You know, even in Hardpoint, they weren't challenging a lot of gun battles. They were just trying to, you know, just run in and get time. They weren't really fighting. Even in Search and Destroy right up to this point, you still haven't seen any aggression out of them. Yeah, 0-2 for Karma, 0-2 for TP, 0-2 for Proofy. Embo's the only player on Optic Nation right now with a kill, and it's just one kill. TP, of course, the bomb carrier will expand that minimap, and we can see exactly what is going on. Proofy, he's probably going to be the player that has a gunfight first. It's going to be a Nable in that far back left corner. Is he thinking about it? Obviously, taking his time in this... <laughs> pretty much exactly what you were just saying, Matt. You know, you yeah. have to kind of be a little bit more aggressive sometimes. Right, they are just taking so much time. You know, they should really just flood in and just try and take this room over. It's all about map positioning and search and destroy. It is, as Proofy, again, still taking a lot of time. Mochilla has already gone down. You hear the dynamic map element in the background going on. Of course, that yellow building being dropped directly behind pretty much what Proofy is, just to his right-hand side. Still, they should do have that advantage, but everyone being so cautious. We'll see where TP is, of course. He is the bomb carrier right now. Proofy still hunting on the side. He's gonna have to give him some cover now. Proofy is gonna see him. And Nable was able to pick up TP first, though. The grenades are gonna go flying in, only 35 seconds left. Classic and Slack looking at trying to do damage, and Slack is right outside that building. Yeah, and you know, Slack, it looks like he is just gonna play this pretty slow. He's gonna wait for his teammate to come over, trying to finish this kill right there. Was not able to. Great help from Karma, as it's gonna be Classic left in a three on one. Oh, he managed to pick up one, but can't find the second. And do you see what Karma did there? Yeah. He was uh, just uh, hanging out up top, quite literally. He was just on top of the wall. Yeah, Catching people by surprise, I like that. Yeah, no, that's a great spot from Karma. You know, one of the most creative players in Call of Duty. We've seen him oh, do yeah. some stuff at events that just kind of blows your <laughs> mind. You know, one minute you'll just be watching, and the next thing he's just doing some literally crazy stuff, right. and you're like, oh. Like, why would know. somebody be doing, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> and then he yeah. just goes off and picks up a load of kills. Like, oh, that, that's why I, I kind of get it now. <laughs> Enable, though, four and one. Justice with that two round, two one advantage. And they will gonna be the bomb carrier as well. And uh, it looks like they're switching things up a little bit, heading towards the A bomb site this round. Right, and this is a site we really don't see any teams really put no any goes pressure there. on. It's pretty difficult to get control of that. But you see, they pretty much just strong armed in there. They're gonna lose Classic to suicide right there. <laughs> I'm not really too sure. Might have exoed <laughs> off the map. 
Uh, he's got to work on his thumbstick action a little bit. Slack has managed to pick up TP, enabling a nice spot up top. Slack as well picks up Embos as he just ran it in. That's going to leave Karma and Proofy alive. We'll have a look, see if they can try and break this setup. A fantastic angle again from Karma. He's uh, obviously been doing some uh, spots and whatnot, spending a lot of time trying to find out those sneaky advantages that he can get. He's currently being shot at. He's now the last man alive. He knows Enable is up top. He misses the melee attack from up close. And Justice go three rounds to one. And this is the thing I love about Justice. You know, we talked about Nature yeah. being all smiles. Same thing with Team Justice, man. They're just right. a, a chilled out team. They have fun when they play, and, and they're good friends too. Justice is a team that's really playing under no pressure. I mean, they come right. in as the number two seed, and nobody actually kind of believes the they two. should be the number right. two seed. They don't it's really crazy. view them as the number two team in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare up to this point, but you know, they are actually bringing the game this weekend. They are. Comet two and three for Optic Nation. TP, of course, the bomb carrying. Oh, and four. Team yet to get a kill. So he really is struggling. Slack is going to run straight in, but card timing essentially there. He wasn't able to uh, pick up that kill. He was shut out from the side. So Slack is going to stay alive, but already, yeah. you know, what, 20 seconds in. But just not even at, that. Look Literally, the, not even that. Look at the aggression from the players on Justice. I mean, you just see constant moving. They're not sitting in any spots. They are always moving. You can see with that COD vision, you know, through the walls, you see they're always sprinting. They're running together, and they're just playing as a better team right now. This is a demolition of Update Nation, to be completely honest with you. Everything that this Justice team are doing is just done with precision. You know, when they're challenging a player, like for example there, you know, they always have that advantage, I feel, whenever they're going into those gunfights. And because of that, they're four rounds to one up. And again, you look at that booth and you'd think they were just, you know, having fun, just practicing, playing money eights right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like we were saying, they're extremely relaxed in that booth. And, you know, Slack at six and one, Enable at five and one, Classic six, <laughs> six and, two and two himself. I mean, no, Nation just getting outplayed pretty bad right now. Yeah, I mean, Moach, come on, man. You step things up, one and three. He's having a pretty <laughs> Pretty poor performance, I'm going to be honest. Just yeah. kidding, in case you didn't get that. <laughs> yeah, you see Bose right here trying to get aggressive. Going to take some shots from Classic. But you see Mochilla getting first blood on the TP. TP 0-6, struggling pretty bad this one, Ben. Yeah, it looks like it could be potential James Bond in the making. Enable is going to be planning that bomb. Gets it down. And can he get away? Yes, he can. Nice little exit jump there as well. So smooth in the way that he managed to move around the map. Player across. That's going to be proof. And Enable doesn't actually need to challenge that. No. He needs to stay alive. Yeah, and that's a great call. You know, he doesn't need to challenge that. And the way he just backed out of there, that made a ton of sense. But it looks like Classic's going to be taken out. It's going to be just slacked and enable. Enable picking up a huge kill right there on Bose. Able to exo check the bomb, but he is going to be taken out by Karma. Slacked, 18 seconds left. Is he playing the time? Oh, Slack, that's a phenomenal angle. Just play the time. 10 seconds left. Oh, that's phenomenal play. But he is going to need to win a gunfight, surely. Can he kill the bomb carrier? That's oh. one. Oh, melee. Did he miss it? Oh my god, he got it. I thought for a minute that he missed that. from Slack. Slack is a god. Look at this. This is unreal. I mean, Ben, He's like, look at one. He double jumps through, runs out of bullets. Boom. And melees him. He had to be so close to defusing that bomb. Huge game-saving play out of Slack. He just punched him clean in the face, man. That was phenomenal play from Slack. So you see him in the booth, get himself pumped up. And Optic Nation, they looking kind of surprised. You know, they, they were set up perfectly yeah. for that. A two versus one, you're covering the exact doorway. You know he has to come through that. That spot from that yellow you building by Slack to get those original shots right. on the bomb defuser, I believe it was Karma, was just amazing. I have not seen that spot used at all. And we have James Bond in the game. 0-7 from TP. Not what I expected at all. Embos on your screen right now. Optic Nation really struggling, search and destroy. 5-1 down against Team Justice. Both Enable and Slack are alive. Slack is 8-1 after an amazing clutch. That's going to leave him last alive. It's 1 versus 3, but with the way he's playing right now, Matt, I can honestly oh. see it happening. I mean, with the way he's playing right now, I would not be shocked if he pulled this out. Now at 8-1, and one, he's just dominating. He's going to get the bomb. No! Right there. And Slack takes out Proofy Slack as well. Behave, man. Slack in a one-on-one -on -one against Karma. That was, and, and they, what's happened there is both players have just gone past each other. But Slack did so with such good movement that Karma had absolutely no idea. He's on an eight kill streak in Search and Destroys, ladies and gentlemen. Slack is playing out of his mind. Karma, is he going to go for the bomb plant? I think he is. He has 26 seconds left. Slack, all he needs to do is check that bomb. He will pick up that kill. Bomb goes down. Now he knows. Is he going to pick up the kill? Karma to his left. Can he get the kill? 
Oh, slide, oh. Oh. A huge play by Karma right there to keep Nation alive. I mean, you know, they look like they are talking over some strats right there. Almost lost the slack pretty it, much single-handedly. I mean, those two kills were just unbelievable. That that was crazy. And, you know, slack two rounds back to back has had incredible two pieces. Uh, uh, I mean, just unreal plays out of slack, you know, putting that new movement on display and you know, using it to a great when advantage. The, when a player is doing that, oh, yeah. that's when you know, yeah, he's taking that's the time sweet. to really, yeah. like, just practice a lot and, and get it locked down. And, you know, I, I, you have to see Slack at this point. You really do, although he's actually going to be watching the flank. Meanwhile, Proofy has really got that kill on Classic. Proofy looking for a second and able to side. He doesn't want any more of that. He backs out. Slack turns to the left-hand side, picks up one. Karma as well has himself a kill. However, Slack left again in a one versus three. Yeah, you know, Justice right there, that confuses me a lot. You know, you've been winning rounds, playing aggressive. And then you suddenly stop. And then you suddenly, for absolutely no reason whatsoever, stop. You just push into Biolab and you just sit there. And Nation has been, Nation just did exactly what you know, Justice has been doing to them. You know, they've been playing super aggressive on defense. Right. And Nation's able to win a round right there to keep themselves alive. But you know, Justice should not change how they were playing previously. Oh, no. If it's working, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, right. just keep doing what is working for you. And it was just aggression. It really was. It's now Team Nation back on the attack. It is not over yet. Of course, Justice still 5-3 up. They only need to win one more round. Whereas Team Nation, you know, they need to win three back to back on board with the bomb carry. That is going to be TP. Meanwhile, one of his teammates is pushing out. That is going to be proof. I think he just actually spotted Classic, and that hit marker is going to tell him to push forward. Classic has already managed to pick up the first kill on Karma, though. Proof again a little bit lucky, though. TP manages to give him some cover. As Proof now desperately looking for that kill on Moach. Right, you know, that was a good push right there from Nation, but I like to see them, you know, go further. You know, they can't stop. Right. They need to keep going, keep the aggressive play up. You know, they, they almost have it down, Ben, you know. They look like they're about to really, you know, commit to it, and then they stop. Yeah, they all of a sudden stop, backtrack. I mean, it's good rotation right now, because that B-bomb site is wide open. However, just as they're going to realize that sooner or later, and that's exactly what has happened. You see that on the minimap. There's going to be a good fight now. Embos managed to clean up one nicely played. Second player is going to be in front of him, but he manages to dip out, gets up top. But well, that player surely behind him is going to head towards the roof. In fact, he's seen Proofy. It's enabled. Embos is going to have to challenge that. Yeah, no. no, he's yeah, not going to I was going to say, Bose is definitely going to jump down and challenge that. And Bose able to pick up the last play. player. So Optic Nation showing some signs of life. You know, there we search, go. That's search and Destroy see. should be their game mode. You know, right. Bose a very talented Search and Destroy player. Same with Karma. I know Proofy and Teep have been very good Search and Destroy players in the past. So this should be their strongest game mode. The nine and six from Embos right now. Optic Nation really making this comeback. Five, four currently, still in favor of Justice. And they're going to be on the attacking side. Slack still 11 to 4. Have to spectate this guy right now. He's yeah. just a man on a mission. Yeah, you know, Mochilla with a little bit of an off game. You know, 2 and 7. That's, Don't yeah. really expect that. You know, a guy who's been performing so well online at home, as we were saying, you know, in the finals of almost every tournament so far in AW. Look at the difference between Optic Nation and Justice when yes. they attack this bomb site. As soon as they get that first kill, they are pushing forward. And that spot on Karma, he is going to get the kill. Shot through his teammate to get it, though. Yeah. Luckily, his teammate did not go down. But th that's the difference. You know, you, you hit the nail on the head, so to speak, Matt. You, you said, you know, Optic Nation will win that first gunfight and back off. Justice, polar opposite. Right, Justice is just forcing Optic Nation off of their spots. You know, Nation right. getting to his spot, and Justice is being so aggressive that they're forcing them off of all their great power positions. And Proofy you get the kill, it does so. Nicely utilizes his movement. Bomb has gone down, so that's 40 seconds left. Justice have backed off. You see that now on your minimap. Proofy is going to have to be a little bit quick here. Hasn't got too much time to play with. 30 seconds, of course, has to get that defuse and also two kills. One on Slack, who is currently 12 and 4. And of course, one on Mochu, 3 and 7. Slack's going to pick up the kill. 6 4 to Justice. It got a little bit shaky towards the end now. Team Nation showing yeah. some life. Yeah, they changed their play style a little bit towards the end, Justice. But you know, when you're able to get the bomb down at A, Ben, from a defensive perspective, it is extremely hard to get in there and defuse. I mean, there are right. so many spots you can hide there. You can run all the way back to Biolab and come through the middle again. Exactly. There's so many different ways you can play that. You know, when you push purple and B and get bombed down, there's only so many spots you can sit and get <laughs> eyes on bomb, right? So, you know, A is definitely one of the bomb sites I will think we'll see being pushed more in the future. Slacked with a fantastic game of Search and Destroy. That two-piece clutch when oh, that was insane, the guy yeah. defusing the bomb. Phenomenal. And that is going to be just as 2-0 up in this series. For now, quick commercial break. When we return, game three.